Okay, so this is a video update on crypto, specifically Ethereum, e or Ether, I should say, and Bitcoin. So we had a big upside move on Friday, um, and I said on Twitter, we need to see it hold and we need to see follow through. And so we've seen it hold, so that's good. We need to see the follow through now. And so just I'll start with the Ether chart. This is the daily chart. And thinking about that daily cycle that is, you know, approximately 60 days, it does look like we got our low on day 51. So the cycle before this one was longer at 74 days. So it makes sense that this one is a little bit shorter. They even out to about 60 days. Now, a couple of things about this, like, and, and this, is, this will actually um, speak to how you can tell a cycle has bottomed or not. And so... This uh, moving average here is a 10 period moving average. So since this is a daily chart, this is the 10 day moving average. And you can see one of the things that you need to have happen to confirm that you have a cycle low is it needs to close above the 10 day moving average. That's one of the sort of most basic. And so you see this low that happened here on January 24th. Um, that was day 51. We closed below the 10 day moving average. But we, we, you know, in the subsequent days, we closed above it. And you can see it again. If you zoom in here, you can even see we made a higher high. So a high that's higher than this. And then we actually made a higher low. So a low that's lower than or a low that's higher than this low. So we made a higher high and a higher low. And then we made another higher high. And we're hoping this is going to be a higher low. And then we move from here. And so this is day 13 this being day one. So this is day 13. Again, these cycles tend to last about 60 days. And if we look at the last bullish cycle that we had in Ether, right, it was uh, this one that, you know, top that lasted 74 days. The top didn't come until day 50. So you had a nice 50 day rally, essentially, before you had the top, and then you dropped for 24 days. And so, and the one before that had a top on day 45. And so, you know, best case scenario, or I should say, you know, in a in, let's say a, a bullish case, not necessarily a best case scenario, but call it, you know, we have a rally for another 25 to 30 days from here, assuming this is a bullish cycle. And so the thing about this, though, is that there's now pretty much no doubt that we do have a new cycle. And so if we do start to see bearishness, if we do see a swing high, which right now we're close this could become a swing high if things get worse. If we go below this low here, this is technically a swing high. But this was also a swing high, right? Like when we went below this low and we obviously recovered, this was a classic sort of little trap here where, you know, you had this lower wick here, which so a lot of people got stopped out here and then it went boom. So, you know, we're going to have to see and, and I'm going to zoom in to the lower time frames in a second here. But this is important because we now can't say that, oh, well, you know, if this thing starts to roll over, we can't say, oh, well, the cycle low didn't come yet. We're still waiting for it. If we do start to see this roll over, then it means we're getting an early top. It means we're getting an early top on, well, it would theoretically be day 12 was the high that we've had so far. And so this, this bears some close watching. And we know it's a cycle low because A, we've closed above the, 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 the 10 period moving average. The other criteria that you'll see a lot of cycle analysts call upon and, and all these kind of fit for both um you know bitcoin and ether but we've essentially closed above the declining trend line i mean it depends on how you draw it but we're essentially there i mean again we could fail like right right here but you'd say like that's pretty much there um and you've also got the 10 day 10 period moving average turning up like this is clear as day right it's going lower here it pauses it keeps going lower 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 and it's clearly curled up so we have that criteria. So we've essentially crossed the trend line. We're above the 10 period moving average. It's curled up and we even have a weekly swing low. I mean, the first criteria is the daily swing low, which we got once we went above this, this, this high here that, but now we need, just need to be, we just need to hope that this cycle continues to be bullish. And if it's not, then, you know, we exit and control risk. The other thing I would show is the Keltner channel. So I, I, I like to use this as a, uh, another sort of alternative perspective that's that's helpful and so the keltner channel is very similar to bollinger bands 
in this case the middle band is the 20 period um, uh, exponential moving average and so you'll see when we're in bull mode we're generally above that 20 period moving average when it's bearish we're below it you know bull mode we're above it this bearish period we're below it remember this run I just talked about we had this run for 50 days we did not have we, we like flirted with it a couple times we were firmly above it this whole time and so since that top on that day 50 we've been declining ever since and you can see we've barely been able to stay above the 20 period the the middle band we've now just crossed over it with force with that move on friday and we're now consolidating above it so again another signal that we're clearly in a new daily cycle and now we need to see follow through from here because any rollover from here is going to be really bearish right let's imagine that we get a huge red candle in the next couple days that can mean we're then now going to decline for another 40 45 days so it'll just mean like just more waiting and it'll, it'll lend more evidence to the idea that maybe we've reached a, a larger cycle top because because of course right now we're just talking about daily cycles here we haven't even looked at the monthly chart yet and so if i turn over the bitcoin really quickly very similar thing bitcoin is looking a little bit more bullish actually you can see we're actually uh, green on the day whereas ether was not same idea we firmly went above that um, middle band of the Keltner channel and you know we're, we're now consolidating here for the next move which you would expect would resolve higher um, and so that's the daily chart um, if I just zoom in really quickly to the hourly picture you can see here I'll take the Keltner channels off you know Bitcoin has been consolidating since Friday like since Friday night essentially I mean look at this just like I mean you don't want to be trading this for sure I mean you're just going up I mean this is just this is enough to make you queasy now this looks like a pretty bearish bar but then we have a quick you know we recover the low and now we're just kind of consolidating inside the range of this huge bar here essentially and so we're going to want to watch for a breakdown below that would be a breakdown below 41,200 would be pretty bearish but right now this is just consolidation bigger picture and you would expect that this is going to break up right in the same way that this broke up and this broke up right and 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 ether has very much the the same look on the on the hourly except you can see this is a little bit more rounded so again Bitcoin is looking a little bit stronger that's more of a just kind of a parallel um, channel for, for Bitcoin as opposed to ether which is which is definitely sloping a bit more and so if we look at the longer time frames now just to as a reminder you know Bitcoin is on month uh, actually month 38 excuse me of its four-year cycle so again a perfect four-year cycle would be 48 months we had our top on month 35 and so now it's really just a question of is this a, is this the top of the 48 month cycle or are we going to continue it higher and make a another high before we descend down into that low either way if we are going to make another high we're running out of time because it's month 38 right again cycles aren't going to be exactly on the dot the same um, you can see this one was 47 months this one was a little bit shorter this is a lower sample size obvious a smaller sample size I should say um, less amount of time but most importantly for me is that we're green on the month so that's a good start we're trying to get, pierce this swing low here this second swing low and so what you really want to see to get bullish is a new monthly high so that would be a high above last month's high and so that would be a high above 48,000 um, it's a little bit of a ways away here we're right below 42 but imagine once we get up there then we've made a new high on the monthly chart for the first time in almost four months and it's the same uh, the same picture for ether um, you want to see a monthly high which you know for ether is quite a distance away as well you know for ether that's at 3900 so almost another thousand dollars higher I think you have enough evidence to be bullish to be long now with you know very clear stops but that would be your next signal that okay maybe this wasn't a bigger top that we had here 
Um, and you know, we, we could maybe make another run at another high before we, we get a bigger low. Because again, we would expect at some point to descend into a sort of larger degree correction. And so assuming this wasn't that correction, which you know, we'll, we'll know, you know, at the very least by March, you know, if we haven't made a new high above the January high, then it increases the odds that we're actually now descending into that sort of larger uh, low. And, and finally, I'll look at the weekly chart. I think this is where we probably have um, some pretty compelling evidence. So it does look like, uh, I'll look at Ether first, it does look like we have a weekly cycle low, right? You know, the week of the 24th. So that daily cycle low, it looks like it also created a weekly cycle low on week 31. We have a nice, big, beautiful weekly swing low above, you know, 2725, which is why that area could serve, you know, it's a zone, it's not an exact level, but that area could serve as your sort of risk point, your, your stop loss. We could easily see a pullback into that area, right? And, you know, if it were to hold and bounce, that would be your buy opportunity. Um, if we fail that level, that's also your ripcord. That might mean we're going to make a move down to 1700. Um, and so Bitcoin has the same look, nice, big, beautiful swing low. Um, in the case of Bitcoin, that's a high above 30, about 39,000 thereabouts. Um, and if you look at the four day chart, I like to look at the four day chart because think of it as a preview of what the next weekly candles are going to look like. And so if we look at the four day chart for Ether, uh, very promising. I'll, I'll take the drawings off. So you can see we made the, uh, a new high on the four day chart. Um, I'll just take that. We made a new high on the four day chart the week of the, or, or the, the candle that was on the 20th, that started on the 29th. And then we made another high. And now we're consolidating this week. We'll want to see that we make another high above this. And notice, since this decline started here, this is your swing high, we haven't been able to put together a rally on the four day time frame that held any water. I mean, look at this. This is just going sideways, right? You know, at one point, this looked really promising. If we zoom in, right, we had made a new high on the four day chart and then the next four day period, boom, we got slammed. This was an interesting period, right? Like we, you know, this is just kind of going sideways. It looked like maybe there was a little something here because we were higher. But ultimately, this is the first real rally that we can see on the four day time frame since that decline. Um, that's Ether, and you can see um, it's a very much the same thing for Bitcoin. And, and for Bitcoin, we're actually green for this current four-day period. So again, Bitcoin is actually more bullish than Ether right now. But you can see this is where the decline began on the four-day time frame. We're just straight down. We get this little bounce. So this probably got people excited, right? So we consolidated here, and then we made a nice new high. Nice high, this high above that one. And then actually the next week we came in and we made a slight higher high and then we failed. And so this is the first four day period where, so we were green, it's still inside. We made a, a slight higher high, a nice massive higher high. Now we wanna see a higher high above this and notice we've now gotten above this big last whoosh down, um, which is actually not the case. Yeah, for Ether we're just about there. Right. And so like that's our first major like line in the sand that we need to sort of conquer. We had this big whoosh down. These three candles have essentially recovered that. We need to see this candle either consolidate here and then have another thrust up for the next candle. Um, but ideally, we'd want to see this clear this candle convincingly. And then our next line of attack is this zone here, which gets you up to the sort of 3400 level which is where I would expect the next really sort of um, level of resistance. So again, I think all of this lends very, um, all, I think all of this gives you very high confidence that we do have a daily cycle low. Um, pretty good confidence that we have a weekly cycle low. We'll have to see. We get a new weekly candle tonight, actually, um, I believe. Yeah, so tonight at 7, we get another new weekly candle. 
And so you'll want to see this make another high and continue. And on the weekly time frame, we want to take out this monster here, right? So for Ether, again, that's in that 3,400 3, area. And for Bitcoin, we want to take out this guy here, right? This is this big weekly candle, this whoosh down. We want to take out that level. And then we want to comfortably sit above that on a back test if we get above like you know when we when we get the eventual pullback um kind of sit there right now like this very moment we are experiencing a pullback and so we'll want to see this is where we see the real sort of character of it of the of the move like are we going to roll over again this to me suggests we're going to break up especially for bitcoin this is just tight this is just accumulation right here this just choppiness here if you're trying to trade this, you're just getting chopped up. This is probably going to break to the upside. Um, so so very, very exciting here. Um, I'm positioned also understanding the risk, though. I think that's always the important part. And that's why this pullback is important to watch, because this is going to tell you if this is a real move um, or if we're going to fizzle out like we have several other times. There's a lot of evidence that suggests that this is a re this is the real thing. So let's see.